Today we've got a 2013 Ford Flex that we're having some cooling issues, or coolant issues. Uh, the reservoir keeps going low and there's no heat or the, the heat is uh, not as hot as it should be and the temperature gauge goes up and down. So I went and bought a radiator pressure test kit from Harbor Freight. It's the Pittsburgh brand. Um, this is the first time I've ever done it. But um, I just went to test to make sure the radiator isn't cracked or there's nothing, no leaks in the coolant system. But I have a feeling that it is the thermostat. But right now I'm just going to show you how this uh, kit here works. Alright, so in the kit we've got the air pump and the different fittings to fit the cap. So whether you've got a radiator or a reservoir where you have to fill it, you should be able to use this. It comes with eight adapters. And I already test fit this one. I'll be using the yellow one. So I'm going to set that out. And one thing that we want to look at before we get going is you want to see what the pressure is supposed to be, what it's uh, capable of holding. And that's what we're going to set the gauge to uh, once we pump it up and get this cap on. And I'll show you how all that goes. And remember that was 16 PSI. Get the cap off, put our adapter on. You want to make sure it's nice and snug. And then here on the pump you can see the numbers we're going to go to 16 psi as we pump it up this is an air relief so once we are satisfied with our reading we'll release the pressure it's going to take a minute so I'm going to go ahead and start pumping, but uh, you watch this gauge, we'll get it to 16 PSI. Alright, so there we are, 16 PSI, and we're really just looking to see if the needle's dropping, and it's not, so um, we're going to move on and uh, start working on the thermostat. Now one reason that we might be losing coolant is pressure build up from the thermostat not opening and that pressure pushing back and pushing coolant out of the reservoir so we're going to go ahead and take this off and work on the thermostat but look for that video if you're in a similar situation and you want to see how that's done i just want to make this short video on how to do the pressure test Thank you. 